Hey guys, how are you all doing? Oh my goodness, it has been so long since I've sat down and filmed a like sit down chatty video. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm really, really excited to be back filming this kind of video. So for today's video, as you will have guessed from the title, I have a bag review and this is a bag review that's been requested quite a lot actually. So I thought I would just sit down and do it. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So as you will have also seen from the title, the bag that I am going to be reviewing is the Celine Triumph bag. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not because it's French, isn't it? So it's probably like Triumph. <laughs> Just ignore that even happened. Anyway, yeah, so this is the bag that I'm gonna be reviewing. I have had so many messages about this bag ever since I got it. So I got it about, hmm, I think it was about four to five months ago now. I actually bought it in Copenhagen, um, but it's a bag that I've been lusting after for so, so long. I just feel like it's such a classic bag. Like it's such a classic timeless shape. The um, kind of branding on it is just very, very simple and timeless. And I mean, it's black obviously, so it's not gonna go, you know, out of trend or anything like that. And that's what I really, really wanted. Just something that was super, super timeless and simple and classy. So for those of you who have been around on my channel for a little while, might wonder why I bought another black bag with gold hardware, because I do have quite a few and I definitely do have a little bit of a weakness for them. I love them so much. And I find that they are always the kind of bags that I reach for um, when I'm getting dressed. I just want a simple classic bag um, with the gold hardware because it matches like all of my jewelry and everything. But yeah, I know I have reviewed like my Chanel classic flap on YouTube and stuff. Uh, and I suppose from someone just looking in, they kind of seem quite similar, but they're actually really, really different. So the Chanel classic flap has a much shorter strap, so you don't wear it as comfortably cross body. You can still wear it cross body, but it does sit quite high, whereas this sits a lot lower. Um, my one is also a lot smaller than this. You can't get as much in it. I love it so much. Like it's such a like timeless piece again, but I just think it's very different in terms of its style and the sort of occasions I'd wear it to and stuff like that. So. I really wanted a really, really good everyday bag. And that is where this one came in. So it is the medium size. So I get quite a lot of questions about that. So I don't know, I guess you can see in relation to my head. Um, it's one of my bigger bags, actually. I, a lot of my bags are a lot smaller than this, but I actually was starting to get a little bit fed up of not being able to put everything in my bag that I wanted. And I ended up always taking like a tote bag or something out with me because I just couldn't fit everything in it. So. Anyway, I've been eyeing up this bag for a little while. I just think it looks so, so cool, layered over like coats and scarves and jumpers and big knits and stuff like that. I definitely think for me, it's probably more of an autumn winter bag. But that being said, I haven't had it in the spring summer yet. So obviously because it hasn't been spring summer yet. So I think maybe, you know, I might prove myself wrong and I actually think this would look really, really cute layered over like little dresses and boots. So we'll see. Anyway. The thing that panicked me the most about this bag is it is a smooth leather. And I was just literally so terrified about scratching it. But saying that, I have had it, as I said, for about five months or so. And it honestly hasn't got a single scratch on it. And I wouldn't say I'm one of those people that is like crazy careful with their bags. Like obviously I am sensible, but I'm not really, really cautious you know, about putting them down places and stuff like that. So the fact that this hasn't got any scratches, like even on the bottom, it hasn't, I'm really, really impressed. Um, so yeah, that is one thing I will say, cause that is the thing that scared me the most about buying it. Um, so it has this gorgeous Celine clasp here, which I just think is so, so elegant. And you just press them there and it opens up like so. And then what I loved about this bag, <laughs> let me take some of those bits out of it. What I loved, I've got lipstick in there too. What I loved about this bag is just how spacious it is. So you can see, hopefully, I know it's black, so it's quite difficult to see, but you can see how many like compartments it has and they're all so spacious. And you can see how like wide the bag opens out from the side there. So it has one, two, three compartments and then it also has a little zippy one um, in the middle there. So I loved that because I just felt like it was so, so perfect for every day when I wanna take like my phone, my camera, keys, makeup, whatever it is. Um, the inside is like a black leather, but it's like a grained leather. So it's not as smooth as the outside. So that's nice too. And it honestly still looks brand new. Like this whole bag looks brand new. I'm so, so impressed with it. So I'm gonna show you what you can fit in it as well. Um, but yeah, so that's the inside. And then this is the strap. So as you can see, it's quite a thick black leather strap. It has an adjustable bit here with the gold buckle and then a little 
I don't know what you call these, like loop to keep the um, strap together, but you can obviously make it longer if you want. I've got that on the shorter setting. So I'll just show you where it sits on me when I wear it cross body. This is where it sits on me when I wear it cross body. So it's kind of like just above the hip, which I just think is the perfect kind of height when you wear a crossbody bag because it doesn't get like stuck under your arm like the Chanel can do sometimes um, and it just sits really really nicely but you can also obviously wear it on your shoulder as well and again it just sits kind of like just by your hip um, but yeah I also think it's a really good evening bag too because you could wear it like under your arm like this so yeah anyway right let me show you what we can get in the bag so I feel like this is going to be so hard to show you but you can get the gist right so i've got like a makeup palette in there which i'll just pop in honestly you can fit so much in this bag and then i just have my purse which is the ysl one pop that in there lipstick passport you never know might be whisked away somewhere last minute you need your passport sunnies There's actually none left in there, but paracetamol. Just pop them in there, just in case. Um, what else can we put in? Mini deodorant, why not? And then my phone, which is the 13 plus. So it's like the bigger size. Pop that in as well. Does need a little bit of maneuvering around to fit everything in. Okay, so as you can see, that is all in there. So I've got my phone in this pocket. I've got all the other bits in the middle and then I've got like my passport in the back pocket. And then you literally just close it up and it all fits in. Oh, it's so satisfying to be able to carry around more stuff than I normally do. Oh, I didn't close that properly. Hang on. There we go. So yeah, close properly now. But yeah. So that is the medium triumph or triumph bag um i hope that was helpful for anyone who's looking to purchase it um i would say it is such a timeless bag it will never ever go out of style it is a little bit more expensive than like other brands maybe like your ysl or your pradas but i just think personally it is just way more timeless i still love those brands don't get me wrong um but this is just such a good shape color obviously <laughs> i mean they do do it in so many other colors and i love the like beige ones and stuff but decided to go safe with my first one and go for black but I definitely would love to have other colours in the future. Um, but yeah, and then in terms of the scratching, I haven't found it to be a problem at all. I'm sure there are protectors that you can get for um, the scratching, but I haven't used one and it's been absolutely fine. I just love how shiny it is as well. Like, oh, when it catches the light, it's just so, so beautiful. So yeah, that is the Celine Medium Triumph bag. I really hope that you enjoyed this review. And if you have any questions about it at all, then you can just pop it down below in the comments and I will get back to you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.